So let's finish off our Pokedex. Um, jump to the scene that we're going to. Um, okay. Uh, first thing we want to do, we're not going to have this line of code or, or this line of code. Uh, if you look at a Pokedex, they don't actually loop. They just stop moving. So to stop them from moving, right, uh, we just have to check that and current item is greater than, oh, sorry, less than the current size. Current item. Oh, no, sorry, the size of the Pokedex holder. No, not the Pokedex holder, what am I talking about? We're checking if it's less than the array, right? So the array is single dot Pokemon dot size. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, we don't need it for the second one. And current item is greater than or equal to zero, right? Um, that should work, I think. Let's have a go. Think that works? Uh, another thing we might want to do is swap them around, right? Uh, because we don't want the whole thing to move down. We want, when we press S, we want it to move up. And when we press W, we want it to move down. I got those all the way around. So, up, down. Okay. Um, what else is that? If we remove the X and Y offset, right? So set them both to zero. Uh, then we can just manually set it in the world. If we just move that to there. Right. Next up, if we go to our singleton, we can replace these with great current Pokemons. So the name will have Jeff. We'll have him at a hundred. Oh, we do, we don't need. We need to create a new dictionary. Create Pokemon data, and this will take a name a uh, type and a. Hmm, what else can it take? Like I said, I'm not the best at Pokemon lore. <laughs> a name and a type. We'll stick with that. So then just return name equals underscore name and type equals underscore type and that's all we have for now. Create a couple of these then. So name we can have Pikachu and we can have him be the electric type, I guess. <laughs> like I said, I'm not the best Pokemon. Um then, then you can change these to whatever you want. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some of these wrong. And what else can we have? Okay. 
Uh, then we can go to our Pokedex and instead of setting the text to I, we can set it to I.name. There we go. Hmm, that's weird. And this again. I shouldn't be able to... Hang on. I'll have to do some tinkering to fix that, um, but we'll have to do that next time. For now, though, we will create a new label here, and call this name, um, uh, and... Set one color to black black font to this oh. I want this align to center and center and we'll just set this to test move this over here to a script so first we want to set up the first pokemon so um get node name dot set x to i no to singleton dot pokemon brackets i dot name Brackets zero, sorry, because this is going to be the first one on the list. Dot name. Uh, and we can have a second label. I oh, know we can duplicate this one and call this type. And its type will be. Oops. Uh, type to type. And whenever an item is changed, we have to reset the nodes. There we go. Ooh. So, based on this, we know that it's going too high. So... I guess we need to minus one from this. Right. I think what's happening is we're not actually rendering the entire list. Are we? No, we are. Pikachu, Charizard, Squirtle, Meowth. Why is it? It's... Mm, that is strange. Which one are Pokedex. Okay, so our problem was that here we had a greater than or equal to when it should just be a greater than. 
Um, also, I'm pretty sure we had it right the first time, so let's change that back to down, and that to up, unless I'm getting this confused in my head. It may well be. Go down. No, I was getting confused in my head. I think. <laughs> it will come more clear when we implement the UI and stuff. Sorry for leaving Facebook alone. Hmm. I think what's actually happening is the direction's changing. Um. Well, I mean, the direction's going the wrong way. So if we change this to my... Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. If we swap these around. There we go. That feels better. So basically you have a list of labels here which names all the properties of the Pokemon. And yeah. Basically all we have to do now is, is decorate it. And when we've done that, then we'll be done with this. Simple as that. So I'll prepare some sweats for next time, and I'll see you for now. Bye.